deputation from Pau outside the village hall in Kema is inside. Uh, Horizon, the company developing Wilver B is inside giving their side of the story, giving information. We are here to protest against the obscenity of building a nuclear power station which will be here with a nuclear dump for over a century. It will be a threat to future generations, let alone the current generations. It is an old-fashioned technology, it is a dangerous technology. There are far better ways of creating employment and of making electricity and energy in general than with that. It would be a white elephant if it's ever built. The electricity would be far too, far too expensive and it would be really something that would be a blot on our island for generations. Yes, uh, well, I mean, I think we've got about five and a half, six thousand different pieces of mitigation. So some are environmental, uh, some are to assist with, with uh, homes for local people and so on. So it's a mixture, a very wide range of mitigation that's being put in place. So for example, we've yeah, on the site itself, because there'll be some land being lost, um, on, in that area, what we've done is we've purchased area elsewhere um, to provide similar habitats for any any species that could be affected there. Similarly, we're working with farmers around the site to improve the level of the uh, habitats uh, on the on the fringes of the site. Again, to try and make sure that any species that need to move from the site um, have places that can accept them. This is Camlin Bay, um, it's a very important uh, area for wildlife, mm. it's an internationally protected uh, wildlife uh, park if you like. Um, the lagoon here that stretches behind this shingle beach is a very important habitat for um, terns which are a type of sea seabird. Well, they've, had, they've had quite a good breeding season, I think there was over three or four hundred pairs here. Um, it's also homes to, home to a lot of other really important wildlife and very rare species. We could lose the whole colony yeah. because they're very sensitive birds to turns. I'm from Nanclesia originally, but I moved to Cardiff 24 years ago. So uh, I grew up in the shadow of Wilva and Trous Vernith as well, which is another nuclear power station in North Wales. And then I moved to Cardiff and then I've lived in the shadow of Hinkley Power Station ever since. So we are surrounded by nuclear in Wales. I'm tired of the excuses. I'm not hearing the truth, the truth being buried. And People just burying their heads in the sand and not facing facts and twisting the facts for their own gain. If you don't make a stand or make a noise, then they'll just carry on. And enough's enough. So I, I went to Fukushima in 2013. It was a ghost town. You'd drive through and you'd see shop fronts that were abandoned so nothing was boarded up the 
reality of what had happened came and hit me hard. Um. So one of the great uh, advantages that have been put forward by those who are in favour of Wilver, uh, all the politicians locally, would say that this will bring huge opportunities for employment on the island. Uh, and I would stress that the development is nothing in their eyes to about energy. It's nothing to do with energy at all. It's all about creating employment on an island which has traditionally had very high levels of employ unemployment. And uh, I worry about that because, be because there are r real analogies with the situation in Minamisoma. I remember talking with the mayor there and he was saying that when the uh, proposal for Daichi came to Fukushima, that everybody welcomed it because this was one of the poorest areas of Japan and uh, for 40 years nothing happened and they say would say the same here, this is one of the poorest areas in the whole of the United Kingdom so we need the employment. 40 years down the road it's, it's now closed but these things can happen as they did in, in Fukushima, in Daiichi, uh, overnight and the whole economy is transformed and the mayor of Minnesota I remember saying quite well uh, you wouldn't find anybody there today who's in favour of new nuclear power. These are the lessons for us here. They're lessons that are real and we must learn them from your experience. As Mrs. Aoki said when she came as an evacuee uh, two years ago now, uh, for the sake of the people of Wales, learn from our experiences. Please, please don't develop new nuclear in your area. What will happen, or what's already happening, is that private landlords, the owners of houses, are beginning to increase their rents because they envisage that there's a market there for, for workers to come and take the accommodation. So people at the lower level, at the lowest level of private housing in Anglesey would be pushed out of the market. So nobody in their right mind would be a receiver of this nuclear waste, which is uh, it's a legend, isn't it, to leave, you know, the uh, children of tomorrow. Uh, it's a dangerous waste to leave and it's, we don't, you know, we can't imagine the length of time is going to be dangerous for. So how on earth can we justify leaving such a waste behind for people? I have no idea. And there's no way of dealing with it, reusing it or anything like this. They've wasted millions and millions of pounds on trying to find a way but they are they haven't succeeded and so producing more of this waste is so uh, um, sad for generations to come and it can't be justified at all we've got enough of a problem as it is with the waste produced over the past 60 years in British nuclear reactors. They don't really know what to do with that waste. There's no underground um, depository for that waste, let alone uh, waste that would be doubly hot, doubly radioactive from reactors using high burner uranium fuel. And we, we want to show our solidarity with Friends of the Earth Japan and, and we will continue to campaign together over the coming years.